thing I got with hey it's Shantae Brown she could talk on the black unicorns. Only the only thing I have in common with the Kardashians is Drake. And maybe watch your part. I'm telling you. This girl, yeah, they hate her in the truth. And it's like, stop doing anything. Stop putting it on my timeline. Like I'm not even trying to do anything for you. Y'all actually have people listening and messing stuff up and following and all that stuff. Me and my son weren't doing nothing to nobody but chilling. Chilling. And you gonna kill me because you didn't want me to be myself. Man, it's so dope to have this stallion and have a black unicorn. I think I gotta put a unicorn thing on there. A unicorn, a black unicorn sticker, like a un, like a, a thing coming out. That'd be dope. Anyway, Shantae Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns coming to you for today. Okay, so I always like some stuff I had to talk about. Um, like, I'm sorry, I'm trying to turn my earring. Some stuff I had to talk about, like the stalker from last night. So they'll come in the house, and so, like, I didn't talk about the white stalker because she left. But it was first, it was a white girl. She comes in the house and she'll come in and be like, um, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. So she'll come in and be like, she came in, it's like, I need some shoes. And it's the same thing Johnny did. So I kept telling Johnny she was a great person, but she evil too. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I just kept, you're a great person. I'll get you, you know, the one I was going to buy the, um, the mascara for or whatever. Y'all, I'm talking about, I just be like, I'm not about to, like, go to hell for you. So, I just continuously, t- like, you are such a great person. You're such a great person. Oh, my God, you are such a great person. I just keep telling them that. She still be doing evil stuff. She still act like a stalker, all this different stuff. So, she getting ready to leave, y'all. She going to say, I'm in the room. She don't have to do this while I'm in the room. I could have left the room. I don't care because it's not my business, like... I help with the house, but I'm not, like, there to get your business. Like, I'm not there to be in your business at all. Like, I'm just not a nosy person. It's just not going to get done by me. Y'all understand? So, what happens is, is, like, she's sitting there and she's like, it's just, it's not, it's not, um, it's not, it's private. And it's like, okay, private, let it be private. The sister didn't even ask her. She was just trying to get her a ride to the airport. So so she really wanted somebody to try to get in her business. And we was just in there like, if you got to go, you got to go. Like, we not about to ask you about what address you're going to, what nothing. So the sister was like, okay. She's like, I'm just trying to see what time the person can be here to take you. So she was like, I got to, she said, this person say he can take you by 11. She said, I'm not trying to get nothing else i'm just trying to ask you about this so the other thing that she did that was kind of like suspicious is um she asked for the shoes what else was she doing she was just like acting like she knew stuff too and it's like you don't know nothing like it ain't nothing to know so it's like you got these nosy people coming trying to act like they got like you trying to be in their life i'm not trying to be in your life at all like i'm i'm just not this person you want me to be that's mary so i guess mary want to switch personality so okay be mary do your thing so then the white girl comes in she sold the same thing can i get you know anybody got some shoes anybody got some shoes whatever i was gonna help johnny y'all just go to the store and get us some shoes i guess she got the shoes from rainbow she said she got a suitcase full of stuff she got a whole suitcase full of stuff she's still in there asking for the shoes so i say i can just order you some from amazon and you see what i'm saying like i could just order some travel before you buy and pay for them later if you really need them so she was like no that's okay you know so then like i said a white girl came asking for the shoes it's like for what you know what i'm saying they give her like a whole bag of clothes then a new girl comes or whatever yesterday and she we sit on the porch y'all she just like i said oh hey i'm shantae and she say i said oh i'm shantae what's your name she say d Look y'all and looking like D. Look, she looking this other way. I'm I'm right here in front of you. So I was like, okay. So I just sat there on the porch. I'm talking about the whole time she haven't opened her mouth to say nothing, like nothing the whole time. And she was acting like we trying to do something to her again. So I'm sitting there like, okay, what's the problem? So she get up and start walking. So she walked down. It's like three o'clock. So they open door at like three thirty. 
So I'm just still sitting there waiting to go in. So when they open the door, I go in. The sister say, where's the lady that was sitting here already? I said, she walked that way. So she was like, yeah, I've been waiting here. She said, I've been watching this. She's been sitting here all day, you know. So I just go in the house, and that was it. She come in the house now. She can have a full-fledged conversation with laughter and character and a personality. Y'all understand? So I'm just like, okay, what's that for? So now she want to talk to me. So she comes in the kitchen and says, and I'm talking about out of everybody in the kitchen because the one was out there too. She says, I'm so happy you were out there waiting with me. She No, she said, thank you for waiting with me. I said, I wasn't waiting with you. I was just waiting for the door to open. But you were waiting with me. I said, but she was like, but thank you for waiting with me. I said, no, I wasn't waiting with you because I was just waiting for the door to open. So it's like I really want her to understand that what she thanking me for is like, like insignificant. So I do, I thank everybody in the house, right? Like I thank the sisters at night for the dinner. I thank the people that put out the the napkins and the, and the forks, right? I'm very thankful for what they do because you're in a community house, right? That's it. And sometimes you'll sit in the kitchen and somebody might have a conversation with you. Not every night will you have a good conversation. So I thank them for having a conversation too. It's consideration. But to thank me for something that I wasn't doing, I'm just trying to tell her I wasn't doing nothing. Y'all understand? So she really in her, really trying to give me full-fledged sentences, like out of her mouth when that's what you could have did when you was first outside. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to match your energy. Y'all understand? I'm matching your D energy. So look. I get upstairs, she's still trying to talk. I say, it's a, I said, somebody dropped a comb on the steps. She saw how, because see, they already got, they seeing stuff on camera. I don't know if they can hear voices, so they'll see stuff on camera. They don't know who they really following or who they telling is doing this. It ain't never me, because y'all see the Kardashians and uh, all the other people, all the rich people are the supposed stars get the good stuff. They get the stuff that's really about me. The rest of the stuff is about somebody else in the house or around me. So, I said, it's a calm on the steps. She said, well, is it a flat, d -d 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 you know? Listen, go down there and check. Y'all, I don't have time for it. It just be like, no, I'm not about to be stalked by you. I don't know you. I don't know you. That's what I was trying to get to, the, the quote by Denzel Washington. The devil is always busy. He said this, y'all. He was in the interview. I just started crying on them steps one day. The devil is always busy. The devil gonna keep talking to you. You, see, I'm saying, I'm, I'm talking about when you doing right. They just, oh, you, Shantae, 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 Shantae. They forever grabbing at something. You understand what I'm saying? But when you doing the devil's work, people shut the fuck up. They don't got nothing to say to you. That's what I've been trying to show. So then this morning, I say, good morning. That's what I'm going to say to everybody. I wake up, good morning. I don't have no instructions. I'm not the house mother either. Like, this time, I'm just sleeping and cleaning and make sure everybody doing what they got to do. Ain't nobody got to do what I say at all. So I get up, I say, good morning. I go downstairs. I'm at the sink cleaning my dishes. She didn't wait for me to have a whole fucking breakfast to start some shit. I'm in here cleaning the dishes, drying them off. So I go and I step, I step around and go turn on the light. She rushed and tried to get in front of me to get to the sink to say, excuse me, you a hoe. Do y'all understand how I'm saying she a hoe? You gonna come and rush to get in my way so you can say something to me. I went around her and finished drying the dishes and took my ass upstairs. She got in the bed and laid down. It's good to lay in bed till 8 o'clock. You see what I'm saying? So now she acting like, like Jennifer. Because Jennifer be the one that stay. Like, if Jennifer don't have to work, Jennifer try to stay in the bed all morning. They have to come up there and tell Jennifer to get up. Or Terry. So they don't even realize. You don't even realize as a stalker, they really just put y'all in the same beds as the motherfuckers you think you about to act like. They not playing. So they put her in the bed, Right? She's still up there laying down. What you just laying down for? You got so much conversation. You just read the rules. Why are you not trying to get up and get out the out the bed? She and her. Everybody's so inappropriate. And every, you, you shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out the house. So she thinking I'm gonna say something to her. Y'all, I'm talking about the devil. Really think I'm gonna sit here and talk to her? 
You think I'm going to sit here and talk to you? Like, actually sit down and tell you to get up? You see what I'm talking about? So you can follow me where I go? Hell no. You can stay right there in that motherfucking bed. I'm about to get out the fucking house. And then they can come wake you up. Because I'm be gone when you, when you start by the time you get ready. It be like, you, you understand what I'm saying? I got to keep myself safe. You a stalker living in the same house as me. Who you doing it for this time? Y'all, why well, I had the movie? Look, Cecil Hall. You go online and you look at his portfolio. This the rapist. This the one that probably stole some too. Y'all see what I'm saying? The movie with Tyler Perry and the lady where they was putting the body with uh, Felicia Rashad. They was putting the bodies in a uh, trash can and sending them trying to steal the people check. That's the shit that be going on here. Like, if it's a story from East St. Louis, that shit was going on for real. But they was killing people, families, and then keeping the kids and trying to use them until they can get some social security. Look, I was like, that's the shit that Cecil Hall was doing. And they might not be his name, the black man that we stayed with before we moved back to Texas when we was being stalked. You see what I'm saying? So I was so, like, I was trying to get off the drugs. I was, I had just got the hospital. So they'll do that so they can put you in a position so they can try to control you and put you down while you bad, like, while you in a bad situation. I mean, I ain't do nothing to him. He just wanted to start dogging me out. For what? I mean, a man was actually mad at me, like, trying to dog me out because we shared a meal because he didn't have enough money. You don't have enough money to be on this date with me, right? You struggling to actually pay for this meal. I didn't share the food with you. You're going to sit here and tell, can't, ain't nobody going to do that for nobody. That's how I know you ain't worth nothing. That's what he told me, y'all. I'm sitting here sharing a meal with you. Y'all understand? I didn't ask him to pay for the food. He actually said, I'm going to pay for it, too. You going to tell me I'm not worth anything, and you the one that said... And you was trying to talk to me. Don't no woman try to talk to nobody. That was so he can rape me. Look, y'all. I'm looking at his artwork online. Asking prior to the artwork that he told me to put in his portfolio. Because I built him a portfolio online. I'm like, you got to get jobs. So if you an older graphic designer, y'all, for real, we, we do do stuff first by hand. We like, it's like we didn't start. It's like we grew up with integrity. Like, that's it through our whole, like, portfolio. Like, I used to be, like, like I was try I was supposed to do a train or something for Eric Henderson. We don't have that type of train here. I mean, in Texas. I don't, I didn't know how to take a picture of that type of train in Texas. I'm serious. So, I was like, can you send me a, a picture of it? Can you pay for it? You see what I'm saying? Because I won't really be able to help you because I would like to take the picture myself. Like, y'all, this would just stop me because of integrity. Y'all understand, like, I'm in this area, like, it's a lot of creative people here. So, we we actually ask each other if we can use their work. You see what I'm saying? Like, we don't steal. Like, it's not like we just go, it took me years to actually go and download a picture from somebody. And when I did it, I paid for it. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just going to download a picture and not tell you I took the picture. Because it's not something that we do. So, I'm thinking either he killed the man... Or whatever. He took the man artwork. When they came out with that movie by Tyler Perry. I'm like that's our relationship. The only thing is I ain't no evil bitch. Like Issa, like Felicia Rashad. Look I just said Issa Rae. Like Issa Rae. She look. But like Felicia Rashad character was. Y'all see what I'm saying. It wasn't an older lady. It was a younger lady. Like this nigga sitting up here lying about like somebody portfolio. Y'all think it's a joke. Y'all done made a straight up Tyler Perry movie. That's how I knew they was like captioning what was going on in my, in my house. Y'all see what I'm saying? This shit ain't no joke. Don't tell me don't at you and they out here trying to murder me for nothing. They trying to put me through some shit so you can put it on TV. So your black ass can have some money. Y'all better get the fuck out of here. Now, y'all need to know because I ain't finna die for you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I ain't dying over nothing in the world. The movie was horrible. Horrible. You out here trying to kill me over a bad movie. Y'all better get the hell on. Yeah, I was like looking at that today. I'm like, then they steady sending this ugly lady over here looking like a fucking man. Talking about she don't like the stuff on my head. She talking about this don't look good. Bitch, I'm from Texas. Everything I do look good. 
everything. Ho, have you seen me? Have you seen me? Everything I do look good. I'm from Texas. By way of East St. Louis. Every motherfucking thing I do look good. Y'all better get the fuck on. Get your monkey ass. I'm talking about look like a straight up fucking monkey. You sit up here trying to tell me what don't look right on my head. Get your swarming ass the fuck on. Man. Okay, anyway. Today, low, pack, in, low impact living. Plant herbs and veggies. Plant them as soon as you get them. Like in your kitchen. Like all the parts. Put them in a plant them. It's a way to plant everything. If you don't know, uh, print out a chart. Cloth pads. Menstrual cup. I'm with the menstrual cup. I'm with the I'm I am with the period panties. I was like, so how you get the you know what I'm saying? Like I gotta get the blood out the panties, but they work and like I said, they leak, so you gotta be careful. Do not use fabric softener on them. Like you gotta cause then that'll like wick it. That'll make it wick. If you use fabric softener by mistake, wash them in vinegar. It'll come off. Um, clothes swapping. That's thrift store. On cutleries. Like I always buy real place but I like it because I'm a ceramicist and I grew up in East St. Louis y'all understand I'm from Texas I be so tired of just like yeah we better than you so I'm just saying this I am saying this out of arrogance I'm finna be an arrogant bitch today y'all sit the wrong motherfuckers to fuck with me today ho I'm not playing I buy real bowls and a real fork and spoon if I have to have lunch or something at work because it's easier and the plastic does leach or leak whatever it do I don't know it's like you it can go into your food you'll be eating small particles of plastic so I like to work I like to have glass and ceramic work for myself that's because I'm from East St. Louis and Texas all right next uh upcycle you know what i'm saying take something and make it into from that's from that's because i'm from east st louis in texas the stories that you'll hear anything about my grandmother is that she upcycled until she was able to afford to make ceramics for herself so my grandmother would actually take a can and make it into ashtrays for her house that could sit on her table that's how pretty they would be you would never know what it was you would never know where it came from, but that's what it would come from. This is because I we want y'all look, cause y'all be thinking we dumb and stupid. You, because I'm from East St. Louis in Texas. Okay, next water tumbler. I prefer glass because y'all be thinking I be thinking I'm better than you. Look, this is because I'm from East St. Louis in Texas. Okay, next bulk shopping. I like to do that because it's cheaper and the bags and stuff look so pretty. But you know what? People still get mad and they can go to the grocery store and afford to get a new bag, a plastic bag, and recycle it. All the, you know what I'm saying? You got a bag. You got a new plastic bag with your beans. I just got a cloth bag for my beans. So I'm going to put it into a pretty container. You know why? Because I'm from East St. Louis in Texas. I'm, I be, it's like, I'm serious. I'm better than you. That's why y'all be sending these bitches down here. I'm better than you. All right, let's go. A shampoo bowl. I thought that was such a good idea. Because then you don't have the scum and everything. And it's good for the environment. Reusable shopping bags. They are so cute and pretty. This is because I'm from East St. Louis in Texas. Okay, next. Food containers. I love buying these little... Um, what is it called? It's like a bento box. A bento box. Because I'm from East St. Louis in Texas. Y'all gonna get the point. Okay, metal bamboo straws. This is because of the king. And this is because the king's mother is from East St. Louis. But he was born in Texas. Okay, own tra toiletries when your own toiletries when traveling. I always keep tissue, all this stuff in my purse. This is from my aunt Rita, and from being a teacher. My aunt Rita lives in East St. Louis. 
buy second hand. I buy thrift stores because St. Louis has a very good thrift market for people to buy. I've been doing that since college and my dad would actually help me buy those clothes because they are always, they are uh, not always cheap. You see what I'm saying? Like sometimes they're very expensive. So this could be because we're from East St. Louis and Texas. Bamboo toothbrush is better for the environment. It actually breaks down better. You see what I'm saying? Greens only. Handkerchiefs. I love handkerchiefs. Mainly because a Texan, or maybe my granddaddy, who's from East St. Louis, by way of the country, maybe Alabama or Tennessee, would always have one inside his pocket. And any time we ever had a runny nose, he would pull it out and let us wipe our nose on it and then stuff it right back into the same pocket. He would do the same thing for my great-grandmother. That's mainly because we're from East St. Louis and Texas. Okay, next. Donated fabrics. I get those from Alton, the Alton Exchange. I like to do that too because some of the fabrics are actually like vintage fabrics that you can't find anymore. Composting, makeup, cotton pads, rent, gift, or borrow. It's a, it's like some stuff you can like borrow the clothes and send it back. Um, a tent, a zero waste talk, recycle at home, pick up instead of postage, and reusable cups. I like to use glass, mainly from Starbucks. And that's because of text. It's, I can't stand y'all. Keep them away from me. Okay, you next, y'all. No spot value. 60 morning routine ideas, but I'm not going through 60. Just 12 intentional morning routines to, for mindful days. Breathe work. Breathe. That's what I, that breathe. Y'all, I be so angry. My stomach is hurting. Like, I didn't have to crap like three or four times today because of this woman in this house. Do yoga or Pilates. Drink a glass of lemon water. This be because you want to kill people. Like it's like y'all really think people with anxiety don't want to kill you. They do. They want to break your fucking neck. Read a chapter from a self-help book. That's not for me. But for you, it could be. Listen to a motivating podcast. Practice gratitude. Go screen free all morning. Go for a swim. Gently massage your eyelids. Meditate for 10 minutes. Take probiotics for a healthy gut. You see, I probably need to go get some of them. Drink tea instead of coffee. Tough self-care. That's the last one I'm getting to. That's why I did this. That's why I was like, let me just do this tough self-care. How to use your life as inspiration for writing. Y'all, I'm talking about really do it. Even through all these hard times, really do it. Really do it. Take inspiration from the going-ons of people who are close to you. Look at the problems you've been facing and why. Examine the concerns you have for people around you. Use junk mail or tab, uh, tabloids you see as inspiration. Whatever you do, don't stalk people. Go people watching it and being a story for them. Don't go back and try to make them live it either. For inspiration from someone you lost touch with. You see what I'm saying? Okay, yes. Tough self-care. That's what it's about today. Sometimes self-care is hard and uncomfortable but feels so good in the end. I don't know what to do about my stomach in the morning. I, I usually just crap one time. Today I had a crap three. Take control of your finances. Curb overspending budget. Save what you can. That's what if you want to. Stop comparing yourself, especially on social media. Everyone has a story. Focus on yours. I mean, focus on yours. Go to a therapy if it feels uh, so good to talk to someone. Therapy is a huge uh, help because it allows you to save container for your feelings. So make sure you go to therapy. Work on your bad habits. We all have crappy uh, crappy habits that we know aren't good for us. There is nothing wrong with a little self-love improvement and personal growth, so don't be afraid to try. Do the hard stuff. Take a look at your self-life. I mean, like, look at your life and ask yourself what you hate about then fix that thing. That's all you got to do. Stay out of my way, y'all. Go, Just go be with y'all mama. And like I said, your mama did kill yourself, so you can go right back in her pussy. I'm not fucking playing. I don't be playing. Create boundaries with people. Say, no, stop being around people that suck the life out of you. Stop sending them to me. Unfollow, unlike, enjoy people pages, groups. I block all of y'all, but I still be sending that shit out. I'm not playing. 
having a positive effect on your life. Create a social media atmosphere that contributes something positive to your life. It is not cool to be stalked. They want me to be used to it. It's not cool to be stalked. Get unstuck if you uh, feel stuck in life. Change your things. Take a chance. So that's it. it. Get unstuck if you feel stuck in life. Change things up. Take a chance. I still take chances and I still just still end up with a stalk in my face. I'm just telling y'all, leave me alone. You understand? The people that's in Texas, that know me, they know me. The people that's in East St. Louis, they know me, they know me. Cahokia, they know me. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Cahokia too. You see what I'm saying? I just say Cahokia, that's East St. Louis too. It's just too much, man. It's too much. It's too much when you just saw somebody steal your whole style and put it on the, on the, at the Met Gala. You could have did better than that. Anyway, this Shantae from Brown Sugar talking to uh, Black Unicorns telling you that I'm from East St. Louis and Texas, Houston and Dallas. And I'm telling y'all to leave me the fuck alone. That's it. That's all. Get the fuck on. Have a good day.